zombies, like like a million other people escaping the Irish potato famine, traveled to America in, in 1855, expanding to 1935. Sailing over nine different ships, 13 recorded Malumbi members set out to have a new life in America. Like most families, they, they traveled through Ellis, Ellis Island, settling in Iowa and Minnesota. My great-grandmother, Agnes Malumbi, gave birth to my grandfather, Jerry Malumbi, in St. Paul, Minnesota. He stayed here for most of his life, coming back to give birth to my father, Matthew Malumbi. My grandmother, Sue Brown, came to Edmonds because she wanted to live with a friend, having to escape some relationship issues that she was having with Jerry. Here, she took my father, Matthew, where he was born and raised for the, for the rest of his life, where moving back and forth from Seattle to the San Juans to Alaska, back to Seattle, where I was born eventually. Now, Mr. Malumbi, where were you born? Well, I was born in St. Paul, Minnesota, where my dad, Jerry Malumbi, your grandfather, moved there from Minneapolis. Why did you move to Seattle? Well, my mom, Sue Brown, your grandmother, moved to escape some relationship issues. From here, we moved to a friend's house in Edmonds. We also, afterwards, bought a farm and moved to Marysville, where she lives now. Can you tell me a little bit about your grandparents? Well, my grandmother, named um, Agnes, worked as a cleaner for churches, while my grandfather, who I did not know, died before I was born. Many of the Mormons immigrated were actually very young. The average age in the, in the 1850s for males were 30 and females were 25. 
Kate Mullenby, who live to Ellis Island in 1868, was only 19 years old, while Margaret Mullenby, who lived on uh, May 12th in 1863, was 20, while Annie Mullenby, September 14th, 1907, was also 20. Can you tell me where the Mullenby name originates from? Well, the Gaelic translation for Mullenby equals chief of man, or a poem, 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 spelled M A H O L D, translates to man Gaelic. This stems from many other different last names, such as Mahoney, Maloney, and Mullenby. Oops.